After spending much of his divorce fighting to win back his ex-wife, Kim Kardashian, even as he was very publicly dating other high-profile women like Julia Fox and Irina Shack, it seems Kanye West has not only moved on, but found himself a new bride. The rapper secretly got married to Yeezy designer Bianca Consori this week, according to TMZ. The outlet says that she and West recently held a private ceremony where they tied the knot. Although they have yet to file a marriage certificate to make their union legally blinding, Sensori has worked for Yeezy as the head of architect since November 2020, her, her linked profile going straight to the company after getting her master's degree. She also recently ditched her long brown hair in favour of a short platinum bob. The pair were spotted this week enjoying a meal together at the Waldorf Astoria in Beverly Hills, where the magician who spent much of the fall and winter espousing his anti-semitic views to various conservative news outlets was only seen wearing a new band on his left ring finger. The tabloid sources confirm the new accessory is meant to symbolise his commitment to his second wife following the ceremony. The clue is what led to his whirlwind walk down the aisle might lie in a song which was released last month seemingly inspired by his bride called Sensoria Overload in which he raps and the Bible said, I can't have any more sex till marriage. This impromptu wedding ceremony also comes just two months after West and his ex-wife settled their divorce following seven years of marriage. The former couple determined that they will have a joint custody with equal access to their four children, North Saint, Chicago and Palm, and the rapper will pay $200,000 in child support in addition to 50% of his child's educational and security expenses. In an interview on the Angie Martin's IRL podcast last month, Kardashian tearfully confessed that she and her ex-husband struggled to get along, but she wants their kids to think the best of their dad regardless. Co-parenting is hard, it's really fucking hard, she said. The reality star went on to explain, I had the best dad and I had the best memories and the greatest experience and that's all I want for my kids as long as they can have that. That's what I want for them. If they don't know the things that are being said or what's happening in the world, why would I ever bring that energy to them? That's really heavy growing up. Shit, they're not ready to deal with. She added, One day, my kids will thank me for sitting here and not bashing their dad when I could. All the crazy shit, they'll thank me and I'll probably answer anything that they want to know. It's not my place anymore to jump in.